Greg Ehrenberg here from AwesomeO.com. We are talking Yahoo Daily Fantasy Football for this weekend's games. And I've also got a great deal for you. If you are new to Yahoo, go and sign up using the link in the description box below. Make a deposit, enter a contest, get one free month of Awesome Plus Platinum, and there you'll find all the tools that you need to make some money over on Yahoo this weekend. The first play I'm looking at for Yahoo this weekend, it's a spend-up option at quarterback. And a lot of times I'll try to save some salary at QB, but... Josh Allen's been pretty ridiculous from a fantasy standpoint. Even though he's $40, it's hard to ignore his recent production, especially because he started to run the ball more again. The start of the season was a little bit slower for him for fantasy compared to what we saw last year. But once again, he's getting it going on the ground. So last week, he carried the ball eight times for 55 yards and scored a touchdown two weeks ago. He had 11 carries for 59 yards and a touchdown. So all in all, you look at this production from Josh Allen, 36 fantasy points, 29.7, 29.4 in each of the last three weeks. I think Josh Allen is a great spend-up option at QB. The next one I'm going to look at, it's a good stack option with Josh Allen, and that's Stefan Diggs at $27. Now, I know that pricing might seem like a little bit of an issue paying up for Stefan Diggs at $27, paying up for Josh Allen at quarterback, but there's a whole lot of value to be found on Yahoo this weekend, particularly at the wide receiver position, so I'm not finding it all that difficult to spend up a lot this weekend. And something to consider here with Stefan Diggs is while his fantasy production has dipped a little bit this year compared to last year, he's seen an uptick in red zone targets as of late back-to-back games with a touchdown. Something else to consider, Cole Beasley has been a target monster as of late for Buffalo, and he's questionable to play. He didn't practice towards the tail end of the week, so it seems like his status is very much up in the air. Even if he ends up playing, there's a chance maybe he isn't 100%, so that's something else that should ultimately benefit Stefan Diggs. Either if Cole Beasley's out, we're looking at extra targets for Diggs, or maybe Beasley plays in just kind of a decoy role, which once again would elevate the the role of Stefan Diggs in the Bills offense. At tight end, we're getting a good discount on Darren Waller this weekend at $23. And Waller's been one of the better fantasy tight ends in the NFL over the last couple of seasons. And now we're looking at a situation where he could see increased targets. We know the situation with Henry Ruggs and everything that happened with him. He's no longer on the Raiders. And this is a team that now is going to have to fill the target somewhere. I think Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro are going to throw in a bonus play. Both two guys that make a whole lot of sense, as is Waller's among the league leaders for tight ends and targets. He's had at least seven targets in all but one game this season. And that's a role that looks like it's only going to have to increase now going forward. So to sum it all up, the three players that I really like building your Yahoo lineups around this weekend is Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, Darren Waller, three great core plays for this week. But even more important than those three plays, make sure if you're signing up for Yahoo for the first time, do it in the link in the description box below. Head on over to the site, make a deposit, enter a contest on Yahoo, get yourself one free month of Awesome Plus Platinum, where you find all the tools that you need, player projections, and much more to build some profitable winning lineups on Yahoo. 